Good day, welcome to CNC Made Easy Lesson 2. Alright, today we're going to do this little part here. We're going to do it absolute first, and then we'll redo it in incremental to show you the difference. Here's our drawing for absolute. You notice we got some tight corners, a little angle line here. Don't worry about it, it's alright. Okay? Alright, so that's our absolute one. If you take a look here, we have our incremental one. Alright? Don't worry, this will be nice and easy. Alright, so we got discriminator already open here. Let's just start a new file. Get a plot graphic window open. Alright, let's begin. Percentage sign 0 to 190 for lesson 2 G90 absolute. Alright, safety line. Alright. You remember all these? G0, G17, G20 for inches, G40 to cancel cutter comp, 49 to cancel our height offsets, 80 for the can cycles, and 90 to say absolute. Okay, so let's call it tool 1, which in this case will be a 1 8 end mill. M6 for the tool change. G0, G54, G90, X minus 1.0, Y minus 1.0, because you can go back and take a look at that drawing you'll see that our starting point for the tool I again made a point one inch away from the part X and Y. Alright. So, let's turn our spindle speed on. Say 3000 M3. Man, I wish I could type today. Friday. Thinking of beers. Alright. So, got our spindle speed going. Let's got our G43 height offset. Alright. Wrap it down to Z1.0. So one inch above the part, and then we come again, 0.1, M8, turn on that coolant. Now we start our feed rates. All right, so G1, Z minus 0 0.05, we'll just go 50 thou in, because again, it's a smaller tool. Even though we're only doing this as a simulator, might as well keep it somewhat realistic. All right, so we're now one inch away from the part. We're 50 thou in. So we're ready to cut. We've got our feed rate on. We've got our tool spinning. So let's go. All right. So let's get our uh, cutting going here. So we've got to come in on the X. So X0, feed rate. Yeah, let's go 25, actually. Okay. So that'll take us to, to our zero line. Now our first line, when you take a look, we got to go up on the Y. The Y position of 5.625. Okay. Let's change this back to a top view. Let's fit this in. Let's actually make it a little smaller than what it's got to fit in. Alright. So, after a Y, we have then got to come across on the X. 1.875. Alright. And then we're going up Y, 7.125. And then X, 0 0.75. And then Y, 9 inch. And that gets our first segment of this line. Okay, so that takes us to there. So our next step over, we're going to go to X, 3.375. Okay. And that takes us over that way. Alright, the next step we gotta come back down to the Y. 7.125. Okay. <coughs> now, this is where we're gonna do the angle line. Dead easy, I'm telling you. X 5.625, Y 9.0. Boom, look at that. Nice and simple. Alright. So we'll carry on writing the rest of this program. We're going over to X 9.375. Okay. There we go. Alright. And then we come down on Y 7.875. Alright. And then X 7.5. 
Alright. Then Y five point six two five. Alright. Then over on the X to eleven point two five. Okay. Alright, and then we're gonna go down to Y zero. Okay. And then we're coming over to X nine. And up on the Y to 3.375. And then over to X 3.0. Back down to Y0. Then X negative 1.0 to finish. Then Y negative 1.0. Alright, and then at this point, G0, Z 1.0, M9, M5, our G91, G28. Z0, G28, Y0, M30, and percentage sign seals the deal. Alright, and that's it. That's your program right there in absolute. Okay, so you see, there's nothing to worry about. This is pretty easy, right? Alright, just do a combination of the X and Y movements, and that's how you get that. Okay, nice and simple. Alright, so let's minimize this. We'll open up new windows. Okay. Slide that one over. Alright, now we're going to do this in absolute. Or sorry, in incremental. Alright, if you guys need to see that drawn again, there it is right there. Okay. Alright, so, now, this is actually going to be real easy, okay? So, incrementally, we are going to start off the exact same way we did with our absolute program, alright? Percentage sign, got to give it a name, let's call this one 2191, lesson 2, G91 incremental. Alright, again, same safety line, that doesn't change, All right? G0, G17 for top, we're still working in inches, still got to cancel cutter comp, because we don't know what the guy was doing before us, got to cancel them height offsets, cancel them can cycles, and cancel any datum reference offsets, alright? So, call up tool 1 again, that 1 8th end mill, okay? M6. Alright. Now G0, G54, G90. We are staying in absolute at this moment. Okay. Reason being, we are going to an absolute location first. Negative one, negative one. Alright. Let's turn this tool on. There we go. Other reason I like to keep an absolute right from the beginning, even if we're going to program an incremental, is because of Z references. Here's a trick. With incremental, every movement you make, it basically lets the machine go back to zero every time. Okay? You'll understand this a little better as you start to program this part. Alright? So, G43, H1, Z1.0, and then Z0.1, M8. Okay? G1, Z minus 0 0.05, a feed rate of 8.0. Now, if we were to do this Z bit, if we'd done this incrementally, all right, to go from Z1 to here, we actually would have had to go Z minus 0 0.9, and then we would have had to go Z minus 1, 0.15, all right? You'll understand what I mean in a minute. But basically going from when you went to Z1, and if you went in incremental mode, it would basically zero it out. And then to go down to point 0.1, you actually had to go negative point 0.9. Get what I mean? All right, here we go. So we're going to make our first movement in incremental. So we will go from this negative 1 to the incremental bit. All right, here we go. So G91. X 1.0 feed rate 25.0 feed 
See that? It's gone into where the X0 line is. Okay? So remember from our drawing, we got to go up on the Y of 5.625, but we are already negative 1 in. Okay? So, to make the math simple, we're going to move that 1 inch and then the 5625. Alright? Because it eliminates the need to do math, and when you're running this program, as long as you don't do it in a single block, it'll just run regardless. It doesn't matter how you write the lines. Okay? So Y 1.0. Okay, now we're at zero, 00 as you can see. Y 5.625. Alright, switch this back to top. Alright. Scale this across. Sorry folks. Alright, so now we're going to move in the X 1.875. So far so good, right? Now here we go, Y 1.5. X minus 1.125. Y 1.875. Alright, we shrink this screen up a bit for us. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to carry on. X 2.625. Y minus 1.875. Alright, now you see what happens there? It comes down because basically it treats this as a new zero. So even though on the previous program we went down, it was Y 7.5 or something like that, we actually had to go Y minus and the incremental version, so basically the distance of here to here to figure that out. Okay? Now, this doesn't change too much with the X. Alright, we're going X direction at 2.25 and a Y direction at 1.875. Alright, and that gives us our nice angle again. Now X 3.75. Okay. Now when we fit this to the screen. Okay. So now we're going to go Y minus 1.125. Alright. X minus 1.875. Y minus 2.25 X plus 3.75 Y minus 5.625 Alright, let's fit that in so you can see where everything is. See again, we're back down to the zero line. Okay. So now we need to go X negative 2.25 Y on the positive 3.375 X negative 6.0 Y negative 3.375 Okay And then lastly X minus 3.0 That completes the square But we got to go back to where we want to be So X minus 1.0 Y minus 1.0 Now we are 50,000 into this part If we want to wrap it back up to Z 1.0 we need to do one of two things. We either go back to G90 and put in a Z1.0, or you got to remember the 50,000 underneath that you are, and you got to make basically go up Z1.05. All right. At this point in time, I like to clear up any confusion, and we will go G90. Okay. G0. Z1.0. M9 to turn off our coolant. M5 to kill our spindle. Alright, now this might be confusing for y'all, G91, G28, Z0, you know, why go back to G91, but that's just so we go to machine home, don't worry about it. G28, Y0, M30, and again, finish off with our percentage sign, and there you go. Alright, so, if you take a look, we'll open up this uh, other window we had. Okay, so let's minimize this. Windows. Okay, so put this one here. Alright, that one there. Okay, we'll go right at the beginning. You see, everything was nice and simple until we got to here. Okay, that line right there, G91. Now, if you notice the differences, Okay. 
seven one two five, we got one five, etc. etc. Alright, all the way down. Same thing, all the way down. Alright, you can see the lineup differences. When you type this up yourself, you can compare them side by side.